thing about my career is the fact that I kind of get away with murder, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. There's definitely some perks for working with the ops. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it out there. It's definitely some perks. <laughs> Welcome back to Mo Dollar TV. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. What's happening, y'all? Figure I'd give you guys a uh, different scenery behind me. You got the bar there. Um, I wanted to get into today um, a get to know me because I know a lot of you guys watch me, a lot of you guys support me. Shout out to y'all for sure, because without y'all watching, I wouldn't be able to make these videos, of course. So, I appreciate all you guys. When I say my intro, I really mean that shit, dead ass. We're gonna do a get to know me today. I got a series of questions that I'm gonna go through and answer so you guys can understand me and know who I am and all of that good stuff. A lot of you guys ask certain questions in the comments or stuff like that, so. Just wanted to address everything here and get it out the way. First question. My name is Monique. Everybody call me Mo. Mo Dollars. Dollars. Those are my nicknames. It's July 26th. I am a Leo, and no Leo slander will be tolerated today. I am an officer. Um, I worked for NYPD for nine years. And if you don't know, I just moved to California. And now I work for an agency here. I'm from Brooklyn, Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, born and raised my entire life. Um, as I said, I just moved to California a year ago, really for the weather, honestly. I was tired of that goddamn snow. And I know y'all just had a snowstorm and I feel so bad for y'all, but it's 80 degrees here. So, you know, sorry. What is my favorite thing to do? Uh, besides shopping, probably hookah. I ain't gonna lie. If you're from New York, you already know hookah's a big deal. I am married. I've been married for April makes two years. I've been with my wife for five years in total. And yeah, so. The probably the favorite thing about my career is the fact that I kind of get away with murder, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't had a ticket in fucking 10 years since, since like there's definitely some perks for working with the ops. I'm just going, I'm just going to put it out there. It's definitely some perks of that. Where do I see myself in five years? Um, still married in a house. Um, some kids running around and living good, being comfortable, being happy, being healthy. That's all I really want. If I could change one thing, what would it be? Um, probably my health. Uh, I was diagnosed with endometriosis about, mm, it's been a minute, maybe 10 years ago. Um, 
very young, dealing with that, it's a little traumatizing. So if I could change anything, I would change that. Um, places I want to visit, probably, uh, Fiji, um, I don't know, I mean, I've been to a couple places, probably Africa, I definitely want to go over there and see what it's like in Dubai. If I could live anywhere in the world, um, I probably would stay in Cali, honestly. I don't think that I would go anywhere else. Cause I like, I like New York, don't get me wrong, but I hated the weather. So Cali is kind of like New York with better weather. So I'm happy, I'm good. What is my greatest accomplishment? Um, probably starting my career young, moving out of my parents' house, being able to take care of myself, um, being able to provide for my wife, for my family. Um, that's probably about it. What is my best quality? Um, Probably my sense of humor. I like to laugh, I like to make other people laugh. Um, I feel like there's so much going on in the world that we need laughter. We definitely need laughter. So that's probably my best quality about myself. A lot, a lot. Uh, yeah. A lot. How many tattoos do I have? I don't know. Not a lot though. I think I got maybe 15. Any piercings? Just my nose. But you can't really tell because I have a like a clear ring in earring in it. I mean, a clear nose ring in it for work. I can't have piercings, so I had to put something clear in it that they can't really see. So yeah, one piercing. When did I come out to my family? I think I was like 17, I think. 17, about 17. Um, I didn't really have to, the crazy thing is, first of all, <laughs> I got hella story times behind that. But I used to always have girls over and my mom's kind of knew what it was, but I actually said it probably about 17. But they definitely already knew what it was. I grew up a tomboy, I played sports my entire life. I climbed fences and did boy shit my entire life. So it wasn't a secret, but I didn't say it to my mother until about 17. And she was totally fine with it. My entire family was cool with it. I never had no issues, thank God. I hear a lot of war stories, goddamn, damn near, with people coming out to their family. And I didn't have that issue. So I'm grateful for that. Do I have a large family? Uh, um, not really, I don't. Uh, it's a decent amount of us. As far as my immediate family, uh, I have an older brother and a younger sister. Actually, I didn't. I'm be honest with you, I didn't. I didn't. It just kind of fell in my lap. Um, prior to that, I was working 
in a law firm. I was a catering manager. My father is a chef and he was the chef for the law firm. So he got me in there and got me that job and that's what I was doing prior. And I was actually, I was doing some bad things, y'all. I was messing with this lady who worked Benoit PD and she had a husband and all of that, but that's, that's another story. But you know, we were doing whatever we were doing and she was like, oh, why don't you come work with me type shit. And that's literally how it happened. She had filled out the application for me and did all of that shit. I went, took the test and voila, there you have it. That's literally how I, it, it kind of just fell in my lap. I literally never really had a desire to do that, um, but it was just there and it came and the benefits was great. I started young, so the pay was better than what I was getting. I, I have no complaints about it. Yeah, you guys, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys somewhat of a Q&A so you guys could get to know me a little bit more about me. It's rather than just drama that I be talking about all the time. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you're not new, drop a like, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.